All right, let's take a look at how to clean the fretboard of your guitar when it starts getting, you know, a little gunked up there with dirt and, you know, whatever, the oils from your fingers, stuff like that. I know the top of my head's chopped off, but so that you can uh, see the neck better and what I'm doing here. Um, so what I have is I have a micro cloth. They got micro terry cloths, um, different kind of cleaning cloths. Um, I like using, you know, like a fine cloth on it, uh, but you could use paper towels. I've done it before. Um, some people are against that kind of thing. Um, I use them. So anyway, but it's better to use a micro cloth, so they say. And so um, I use the Dunlap. Um, I get the Dunlap kit that has the uh, cleaner and then the polish and comes with a micro cloth. And um, I like getting the kit, but the one downfall about the kit is that um, it comes with an applicator. So you turn it upside down, you're supposed to rub it on the fret. You know, eventually the applicator gets clogged pretty quick. Um, you can see probably I got still 85, you know, percent fluid here and the applicator's already worn out. So, um, yeah, don't like that thing. Okay, so got this micro cloth here. Going to put some, uh, I do it like this. I dump a, try to get a good amount on there. And then just rub hard in between the fret there. I already did a test one on this first fret. That's why I'm starting on the second one here. And you just uh, rub it really hard. And it, it picks up the dirt and any kind of grime on there. And then also, um, cleans, gives the fret, uh, adds a little bit of moisture. It's an oil, it's lemon oil, and it adds a little bit of moisture uh, to the uh, uh, frets as well, um, and to the wood, and so it makes it a little bit nicer uh, for those of you uh, like me who grab wood. So anyway, um, if you're heavy-handed, sometimes you'll press a little hard and you'll grab a little bit of wood, and then that way, um, when you're playing like that, uh, you know, if you press hard, it, it's a little slip, more slippery when you when you clean it. So it's pretty nice. So anyway, uh, there you go. Now I will take a uh, paper towel once again. Some people don't like doing this. Some people uh, like using an additional micro cloth, another clean one, to kind of dry between the frets. Um, but that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And now um, the lemon oil is recommended for uh, everything uh, except for uh, maple. Uh, maple fretboards, it says not to use the oil on the maple fretboards. And so there's that. Now this here is the cleaner, um, the Dunlap cleaner. It's a cleaner and polish all in one. You just spray it on your guitar and uh, boom, she cleans up really nice. So uh, that way you get rid of any kind of gunk or whatever. This is my Taylor uh, 855 CE 12 string. And uh, it's pretty beat up. Uh, I take care of it the best I can, but it's a workhorse guitar. It's cracked here. It's got cracks and nicks all over it. Uh, but uh, from a distance, it still looks good. But like I say, it's a workhorse guitar, and it's just a work tool. So there it is. A uh, great way to uh, clean up your guitar. And once, you know, since the strings are off, you know, you can dust it, you know, in areas you can't normally uh, get into. So there it is. Clean that guitar and practice till your fingers hurt. Subscribe.